Cruise ships with overnight accommodation and a capacity of more than 100 persons, that includes passengers and crew, will be prohibited from operating in Canadian waters until at least October the 31st. This decision extends the one we made in March, which was taken to protect our coastal communities. On Friday morning, the federal government announced the 2020 cruise ship season is on hold until at least the end of October. A ban on large cruise ships was first announced in March and was to be in effect until July. It's another devastating blow to BC's already battered tourism industry and the local business community. In a written statement, Tourism Vancouver says, we understand the decision taken by Minister of Transport Mark Garneau. However, we know it will have an impact on Vancouver as cruise is a big contributor to the local tourism industry. Industry. We are currently working with our partners, including the Port of Vancouver and other organizations to track economic impact of COVID-19 on our overall industry. Tourism Vancouver says more than 280 cruise ships dock here annually, with each one bringing millions of dollars in economic activity for the local economy. So far in 2020, no cruise ships have docked in the city. And with that absence of ships down here at the Port of Vancouver, there's also an absence of people. None of that hustle bustle you'd expect to see getting into the season here. Now, if we take an actual look at the Port of Vancouver schedule, Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas was supposed to be here between 7 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. With her, she would have brought 3,360 passengers and almost 900 crew. Definitely brings a lot of people into this particular cold harbor and the hotels around us and the restaurants around this area. Um, we miss having the international travelers. Meanwhile, Bruce Fogner of Lloyd's Travel and Cruises in Vancouver says this announcement doesn't change much for Vancouver's outlook. He explains the way the routes work, coupled with international restrictions, there was little chance of the ships actually rolling back into Vancouver anyway. Because there's no ships doing Alaska. Number one. Number, number two is there's also the, the Hawaiian round trip out of Vancouver or Seattle is not happening. It's, it's all out of L.A. and San Francisco. So American ports, uh, you know, limiting, you know, international travel. So the, the ports are the business that we would have seen is, is will not be there this year. And it wouldn't have been there regardless. of that's, that's correct. I'm sure we'll see some bankruptcies or acquisitions in the cruise ship industry as they struggle to manage their debt load um, without any revenue at all. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.